Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. This is the Rochester Press Box presented by the Genesee Brew House. Like it or not, how about those New York Mets? 25 4 <laughs> down to the Nationals first day after the trade deadline. Well, Nationals keep all their players and go out there and play. So maybe that bodes well for them in the second half, or I guess they. It's not really the second half of the season, but the latter part of the season here as they try and make their way toward the postseason. The Mets, on the other hand, isn't that like the perfect way for them to start post-deadline? How did it get so bad for them so quickly? That's a great question. I mean, it, with that pitching staff, and obviously injuries always play a factor, they haven't necessarily had the, the lineup to compete, and that division flipped itself too. So when you see the way they started the season and then these the young yeah, teams really like the, the Phillies and the Braves, the way they came – They've, they've really come on this year, I think, ahead of schedule. They just, they've, they've lost any momentum that they had. you got to be fair to them. They won April, though. <laughs> they Mets did. You smug Phillies. They won loving. April. No, they, Man, they, Mets and, fans were spouting and off, And you too. don't base your team yes, on so many starting pitchers, and especially these guys, because there's so many things that can happen. I think the best, best way to set up a team, an ace, a, a, a solid second and third starters, and load up that bullpen. It seems like the Mets – Wanted to corner the market on every starter. They handled the Matt Harvey thing, and, and he they could handled have fixed it. That and decided not as to. poorly as possible, and then it all started to go down. And maybe they should be looking to unload people and start over. Yeah, 